front of the camera and Kay is behind and we're finally we've got around to doing the monster book so this is just to show you the basic um, construction of the actual album cover itself but I'll just show I'll you how show you. monster book works it has a magnetic closure here so that clips onto there like that and you're wondering what does it clip onto well when you open the book up on the inside front cover you have a frame here which opens up and inside you have a little secret pocket you can put another little mini album in there all sorts of treasures so that's part of it it has six pages which have three-eighths of an inch gussets and these pages aren't just one page on their own there's lots of bits and pieces and then at the back just take that off on the back cover you've got another extra dimension with an additional pocket that opens up with more storage space in there but this video you're going to see now is just showing you how to construct the cover and stick in the spine right okay we're ready to go so when you get your kit you will get five frames like that you'll get a smaller square which is designed to fit into there you see you've got plenty of give there you'll get two spines which are exactly the same size and then you'll get two covers so that's the basis of it you'll also get in your kit um, 10 magnets which you need for the closure and 50 millimeter width black architape and you'll have enough architape to line all around the edges line your frame and a bit left over to allow for mistakes okay so first thing you need to do is take your five frames and you need to stick and line up one on top of the other so you will have I've done it already just to show you so those are all stuck together and you can see you've got five cut there make sure you line them up nice and straight because you don't want them at a chamfered angle anything like that so those are all stuck together so the first thing you're going to do is cover your frame now I tried lots of different ways with this and this is the most effective way that I came up with and also the neatest way but if you think of a different way and it's easier please let us know and then we'll have a go with that as well and I'm sure Kate will so okay oh, so this is a mystery to me so uh, okay <laughs> So you're going to take, cut your architect and you're going to cut it slightly wider than the edges of your frame and you're going to do opposite sides first and I was all organised and had the tape all peeled back, oh look here it is here, right okay so you're going to peel that piece off, now I find it easy just to take the backing completely off but you may not, now what you want to do is take your frame and you're going to, I'm going, I'll, I'll do it myself and then I'll just show you and it's going to just line up onto the base, onto the edge. You need to bring that forward a bit and then... So. Do you want to lift it up? Yeah, lift it up and see. Yeah, okay. okay. So you can see it's completely flush with that edge. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then you're going to fold that over. Okay. Take your tool. Let's just stick that on. You need to fold that over on there. Okay, I've zoomed in a little bit, so... So that's stuck on there, put that on there, push that down there, Hold on, push I'm that just down there. Have I jiggling the table? Yes, so I'll take it off the table now. I'm just going to ask my glamorous assistant, could you just, oh, so actually I can do it, don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> right, I've got a craft knife as well. Okay, so you can see now you've got these pieces here. So turn your frame over and you can either use a pair of scissors or a craft knife and you're just going to trim that edge off there and that edge off there and you're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side but do whatever's easiest for you if you want to use scissors use scissors um, I think a knife gives you a better, better finish I think a actually. knife gives you a better finish but personally that, but that's that's a personal thing okay me. right so that's that there and then you've got this bit here so then this is the easier with a knife you're going to Cut in there. Right, do you want to cut one and then oh, we'll yeah. have a look at it? Okay, can I just have a look at that one? Okay, so I've cut that there. So, so that's. Oops, where is it? Yeah, there we go. There. 
Yep. Okay, that's cool. Okay. And you're going to repeat exactly the same thing for the other side. Okay. And then you're going to take that out there. Push that bit up there. So when you come back, you've got a nice neat edge there like that. Okay, we'll just take that bit out, okay? But you don't worry about these raw edges because they're not going to show. <coughs> okay. Okay, right, I'm going to repeat exactly the same thing on the opposite side. You have to bring it forward a tad if you can. So again, I'm going to line it up. Lined it up onto the edge again, and I'm going to repeat the process exactly the same. Okay, so you're right in the centre of the frame now. So. Okay, good. That's cool. Flip that over. We'll cut in there. And we'll cut in there. We'll pop that one up. time with this bit, that's all you need. To. There's a smidge there that needs trimming off. In fact, I'm going to use scissors for that, I think. Okay. So that's two of your sides done. So now we're going to do an opposite side. Now these are a little bit different. So, same concept on the edge. So line it up on the edge on this side. Okay. Fold that over. Okay. Turn it and you're going to cut as before, cut in there and in there. I'm going to pull that one up. Like we did before. Okay, now. Oh, I've trimmed that there. That's annoying. Okay, right, so. Same thing as before, so you've still got your pieces there. So you're going to cut that there. And cut that off there. And if it's a really tiny smidge to trim, use your scissors. You now, a really sharp knife, don't you? Yeah. Now, you can see here you've got a straight line there and you've got a straight line there. So what you want to do is pull that bit of tape up and you want to angle it so it goes in to a degree like that. Do you want to okay. just bring that one up again? Yeah, hold on, because can we just... Um, Cheat. Yeah. Just cut out a minute. Oh, you're, you're back on again now. Right, okay, so what you're going to do is both of them, because you'll find that you can see how easily that architect lifts up because it's a straight edge across, but if you mitre the corners, you get a much neater finish. So just fold it back. Do you use our mitre tool? You could use our mighty tool, but for this one, you probably don't need to. Okay, it's can you easier. Bring it back it's, you can't see it there. Is that better? Uh, a little bit more towards you, if you can. Is that better? Yeah, that's a bit better. Right, okay, so you can see that they're cut like that. Do you want to hold it up, Kay, to show yeah, we'll closely? Okay, so you can see it like there, go. 
take it and see on the other side. Okay, so what we're going to do is now we're going to just peel that back and we're just going to cut. Keep your scissors flat so you're nice and straight and even. That's one cut. That was nice and neat. And then keep your scissors flat. Hold it quite taut, the archetype. And that's the other one. And then what do we do? We burnish. There's a fair amount of burnishing going on. Okay, but you can see there's a really ni nice, neat edge there. Okay, so you repeat that for the other side? No, the other side oh, is different, okay, because if you... That, so that's your frame done so far. Now, if you look at this one here, on here, you've actually got your magnets along there. Oh, right, okay. So you need to stick your magnets on next. Because if you, you can't do it once you put it in the album, because it won't be neat and it won't be strong enough. Okay, so this is how I. You can see I've got markings. Can you see I've got markings along there for my magnets? Yeah. Okay. What I did, I cut a piece of card the same length as my frame. So we'll just trim that there. And I folded it in half. So this is the same length as that there. And I folded it in half. And I'll put a little mark. Bring that right forward. That's it. Put a little mark on the halfway mark there. Okay? Yeah, you got that. Then I decided how far in I wanted the first <coughs> magnets to be. You don't want them right on the edge because it will be too bulky, but you don't want them too far in because there'll be too much of a gap. So I went, I think that's probably about three eighths of an inch. So and I want. It looks just about, just a tad over a centimetre. Yeah. So, so I'll just do a little mark there. Okay, so that's where I decided I wanted it there. So then all I did was just turn that round and put it there so it's the same on that side. Okay? So then I decided, right, I want equidistance from the middle to there. So I took my half half inch folded there, I folded that in half, and then I just used that as a marker from the end there. Okay. okay instead of messing around with the ruler. That's I just find it easier doing that because you end up going cross-eyed and everything else. Now the lining up is different here. But the first thing you want to do is stick your magnets on. So if you've got three eighths of an inch tape, that's perfect you need strong double-sided tape. Put that on there, just trim that. And this is um, score tape, which we now have to stock, don't we? Yeah, or you can use red liner tape. You can you? use red liner tape as well. Okay, so you can see that's stuck on there. But you're thinking, oh, I can't see the magnet markings, but you will be able to when you take the cover off. So You've got a bit on the end, is it? You're gonna stick that back in? Yeah, that's what I meant trim it. it, that's all right. Why is that making a noise? What's making a noise? The machine was. No. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's. Now these are our one millimeter. Not one millimeter. Ten millimeter magnets. One millimeter would be tiny, wouldn't it? It would be tiny. Yes. <laughs> ten <laughs> millimeter. I, I, think, I, I don't think you would cope with um, with. Um, I wouldn't. Ten, no. Ten, <laughs> milli no. ten millimeter by one millimeter, um, and they're nice and strong. These ones. So. But as always with our magnets, we say keep them okay, out. I, we can't see what you're doing, so. Okay, right, and what I'm doing is I'm marking up on there. So can you see if I pop it? It's difficult to see. Right, okay, pop that one on there. That's it, that's okay. Push it down so it's on the frame. And then. Do you want to see it? It's easy if you do it, if you see what you're doing. Yeah, okay, I'll put the other one on here and then you can show it. That was slightly out, but that's because you, I made you. I made you do it in front of the camera. You did, so let's straighten it up. So that's my fault. Oh, blimey, Kay, how you will. <laughs> right, there you are. Well, might be. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Okay. while Kay's showing you that, I'm just going to have a swig of tea. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Right. Okay, so this is our finished side, our good side. Okay. Now, normally with the others, we butted it up to the edge here. You can see we just butted up to the edge on there. But this time you actually want the overlap on this side because you want to wrap the magnets in. But you need to make sure you don't do too much because you don't want any exposed grey board here. Okay. Okay. 
Now I found it easier to actually do it from this side and just do a little tiny, just put a little mark with your, you can see how much play you've got basically. So just put a little tiny mark. I've underestimated from that one, just a little tiny mark. I'm going to pop that on. So, so that distance there yeah. I look, is, is, is yeah. it corresponds to, to that distance I, there. I looked Sorry. at that. That's it, so people right, say. so I looked at that distance there, okay, which is that. But if you look when I've marked it, I've actually underestimated. I've given a little bit more. Yeah, I'll just, 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 just clarify that. Yeah. Yeah, does so that make sense? Yeah, so I can understand yeah. it. Yeah, I now understand. Okay, good. That's good. <laughs> That's That's good. good. At least one of us does, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Whether it works is another matter. Okay, so we're going to, can you see this okay? We're going to line that yeah, up there. Yeah, that's it, yeah. That up there and that up there. Just swish that along there. Okay, then you're going to flip this and then you're going to use your hands for this bit just to stick in between the magnets and you can burnish later. You need to be, do this carefully because you, yeah. you only get one chance at this. You do, yeah. Although having said that, you could, if you really made a mess, you could take your architect off and use some fresh architect because you will have enough right. to do that. How do I know that? But I also think it's good to, um, and if, you, if you're really worried about doing this, have a little practice, cut a little frame out in card, and just practice with some copy paper, strips of copy paper, just to get the hang of it. But it is, just take it steady and do it in stages. And I'm actually going to just trim that a little bit. I can straighten it up afterwards, but I want to make sure I get it really nicely folded over. Now it's done like that, so stand it on there like that to really get it. Okay, and then we're going to pull that over. You put it with a bit of, a little bit of tension. Yeah, a bit of tension. Okay. Because it's architect on architect, you have got time to pick it up a bit. Right, so now just run along. your Teflon tool. Okay. And on the top, turn it over. I'm going to do exactly the same as you've done before. I'm going to put your little lump, but make, try not to cut the architect that's there. If you do, just you, you shouldn't do, but if you do, just use it and you find you've got a little white line, just use the black um, marker pen to cover it, okay? And then hopefully, when you flip this one up, yes. <laughs> okay. That's always a relief, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I don't, don't think I'll do this demo on Ho Chan. I think I'll just say, no, you can watch this on them, YouTube. Right, okay, so you can see now that you've got a nice, neat edge there. But again, I'm going to do exactly what I did before. So I'm going to mite my corners, so push it down there. Pull that one up and push that one down there. And as I say, the trick to getting a neat line is to keep your scissors flat, a little bit of tension, and then just go across, and then the same for this side. Can you see that okay? okay. Mm -hmm. And then burnish and burnish and burnish. And then you want to give all of this a really, really good burnishing. And if you find you've got any little specks, right, there's something there that needs burnishing more. If you find you've got any little specks or anything like that, you can just take your glue rubber and it's brilliant for taking them um, any, any sort of um, marks off, marks it, yeah. off yeah, particularly on your tip. Now, Okay, so that's your frame done. So you need to find your magnet side now, which is this side. And this is really, really important. Mark it with a big M for magnet, okay? Because when you come to stick it in your cover, if you stick the magnet side in the wrong place, it's not going to it's close stick. properly. Okay, so, so that's done. That is the hardest bit of this book. Okay. 
well, apart from um, the inside the, the, bit. All, and rest, the, all the rest. Yeah, apart from and all the rest. All the rest yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to carry on with the next bit. And I forgot to say at the beginning, but I'm sure Kay will put a little bit of blurb on there. There is um, an instruction thing. You can either get in touch with us for a download. Or the PDF. PDF, yeah, yeah, of how to construct this. And then there is also going to be a separate PDF available for day by day decoration of the album that I've showed. Okay. Right, okay, so the remaining grey board that you have two covers, two spines, and a smaller square which is your inside flap. Okay, and I'm just going to show you how to cover one piece. Okay, so we'll do it using the architect and then I'll show you how you need to do it. So we'll take our tape and we're going to run our tape. Is just so I can get the right measurements. One, two. Oops! <laughs> do, do, would you like a spare hand? Yes, please. My glamorous <laughs> assistant. That's easier. Right, one. Because I'm doing it back to front now, aren't I? Two, three. Okay, right. So we'll just trim that across there like that. Okay. So this is instead of using card to cover your. Um, album cover but Architape is an archival um, prop book binding tape so it's very safe to use for any of your album projects so I'm, I'm peeling a little bit I'm going to take my cover and I'm going to place it approximately halfway in between like that okay press quite firmly so this is quite simple te technique for you. Yeah, one, and if it, you, um, the best one to watch is probably Kay's album covering technique. She shows you, talks you all the way through this. Um, just push them down there, and then repeat. Well, it's not too bad. I'm fairly, fairly straight, <laughs> as it were. I'm just going to trim that little piece off. It's easy to do that at this point, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. okay. And then I'm just going to do a little whiz. Okay. So, you've got your corners now, you can see there. So, um, see where your corner of your grey board is? I tend to pinch it. To get you so pinch you, it, I don't pinch you? Just, just gently, so you don't pinch it on, on, on itself. But it, it gives you where the corner is. Yeah, okay. But it's entirely so, up to you. If, you. if you think you can do it without, then that's fine. But you need to get it into the corner, because if you don't, it won't lie flat. So you don't want it too much. You don't want to still want a no. couple of strengths. Yeah, hold on. So, yeah. Okay, so that's cut All right, do you want to just there. To, okay, right, so, okay. So cuts. But don't cut that triangle off. Yeah, you need, you need that, that to be attached. You need that to be attached and what you can do at this point as well, you don't have to do this, but what you can do is just cut that piece off and that piece off. Like that. So it looks like a bit like an uneven diamond in this case. Yes, a very wonky diamond. <laughs> a wonky okay. diamond. And then with a little bit of tension you're just going to pull you're, that. Do you want to help me to hold that? Yeah, a little That's bit it. of tension you're just going to pull that on there. Okay. okay. And then you can either fold that piece down now or leave it and do, do the other side pinch it there so you can see where if you pinch it you end up with a line in yeah do you want me to just show that one as yeah. well it's easier than me trying to zoom in it's yeah. just told it is it to be honest i think it, yeah i think we can see that yeah okay okay cool so we'll do this, exactly the same thing i'm going to snip into there but don't panic if you do snip the corner off by mistake don't panic because architect is very forgiving and you'll probably get away with it if you don't just use a little bit of um, cheat black pen <laughs> it's, it's nothing to sweat about is it yeah. no don't, don't it's, it's, you're supposed to enjoy this not, not yeah, getting stressed about it it's not supposed to wind you up okay so oh that's a better diamond shape isn't it, it is, so it is, that's it is. that there okay right so what you can do now is you can keep that flat Do it like that you shouldn't have any ridges you know sometimes you have a little ridge if you fold it over okay, so that's that one there this side is the worst because you can't lay it flat because yeah, of the other yeah. bit okay so do the same here 
can use your hands just to help up. I sometimes find your fingers just right on the right yes. on the base of it sometimes. But the, the tool works really well with it. Okay, and now I can put that. No, you can't. You can't no, I can't because I've still got that bit there. That's it, I can do it that way. So what you can do then is if you want to, is just fold it down like that. And then you've got a nice neat edge. And then you're going to repeat once you've done it, whiz round again with your tool because it might come slightly off the edges. You're going to repeat exactly the same thing, so pinch a little bit, pinch a little bit. It's sticky this stuff, isn't it? It's meant to be sticky. It is meant to be <laughs> sticky. But we always say keep your pets out of reach of Architape. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't bode with cat hair, doesn't, doesn't do any no. favours at all. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason why we know this. Yes, and you have to make sure when you're doing projects you haven't got a cat that's just been um, accompanying you on the desk and then their <laughs> cat hairs appear somewhere on the project. I'm quite sure dogs are just as bad. Oh, I'm quite <laughs> sure they are. Okay, so I'm just going to trim that corner as well. Oh, my scissors are stuck. If your scissors get gunky, um, you can use, some people use furniture polish, don't they? Yeah. Or you can use... Um, those little pots that you chop, take, stick your finger in to take nail varnish off. And They're just really pop quite efficient. Your, yeah, they, they are. Efficient. Just pop your scissors in there. Okay, so that's in there. Right, so now this is easier because I lay it flat. So. I like doing this, it's quite satisfying. It's very satisfying. <laughs> I really like the finish of it. I just think it's, I love doing the traditional way. Yeah. But I just think this is, it gives a nice, 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 it's so yeah. elegant, Kay. That's what I like. And it feels really nice, it's very tactile. Okay, so that is... Like you're, you're wobbling the camera, so you're obviously doing a oh, bit yeah. of burnishing. I'm obviously burnishing hard, yeah, if it's wobbling, that's what I'm doing. So, <laughs> so that would be your... Um, your front cover done. So what I'll show you is how I've done it and it's all in the instructions as well. So that will be your front cover which has three sides of tape on. Then you have a centre spine and you need to put the tape top and bottom. Then you have your back cover which again will only have had tape on there and there because then you will have your other spine. You're going to have to move that right across because I'll try and zoom out. That's as, as far as I can zoom okay. out. Right. I need to put it towards you as a little tad as well. How's that? Yeah, I mean, just about get it all in there. Okay, right, okay. So you've only got one with three corners. You've only got one with three corners. And the others? The others are all top and bottom. And top and bottom, okay. okay. Right, and then you also need to do, while you're doing that at the same time, the inside cover lid. And that's three quarters. You do three sizes. Three sides, yeah, and then that's a hinge side. So now we're going to start constructing the actual. Um, album itself and we're going to join the front cover to the centre <coughs> spine um, so what we recommend is using our hinge spacer tools because what you need to make sure is when you join your spine to your cover you have enough space between so that when you bend the cover open and closed it, the cardstock doesn't split or it won't in this case because we're using architate but if you're doing it in a traditional way and using card and you've had problems in the past with your card splitting, it's probably because your hinge isn't big enough there. Um, and we do a whole range of different hinge spacers. So, take your trusty Architape, and you're going to take your spine, and you're going to just go around, just so you've got enough for a bit of an overlap like that. But you need to make sure the overlap is that depth, or a little bit more, not less. Okay. Peel this off, and I'm going to take my front cover and allowing a bit at the top. I'm going to probably go about a third of the way in. Okay, take your this paper, put a little bit there and a little bit here. And then you're going to take your trusty hinge spacers. As I said, these are three eighths of an inch. And the idea is that one locks into there like that. 
the right angles that locks into there like that so you know that when you put your set you put your center spine on that's going to lock on there lock on there so your hinge in the middle the hinge the hinge in the middle is going to be um, three eighths of an inch all the way down and it's also straight and your um, spine top and your cover top are in a straight line so then peel these off now architape is sticky so that's why we put the paper there but you may need to, you may find you easier to put it a bit of tape down there as well of the um, backing down there as well so that's one a little bit of tension just pull it that way so Pull up like that. Actually, I think I prefer it. Put that one there and then put that flap down on that. I just think it gives it a nicer finish. Okay, so that's your first one. It doesn't matter that that's not, it looks a bit wonky, it doesn't matter that that's not straight because you won't see that. As long as the architect is laying flat, um, that's fine. Just whiz it over. Just give it a little bit. Right, now remember every time you're doing this you want to have your join on the same side every time because this is your inside cover you don't want that bit showing on the outside doesn't matter we've if you make it. a mistake but we've all done it um, and it's very easy to do it's really <laughs> it is really annoying and because you know it's, it's, not, it's not the end of the world <laughs> no it's not but because you know it's there it's like ah. <laughs> so I'll do exactly the same process so that's my cover that's my spine and work methodically and check because it's very easy to end up sticking two spines together or two covers together and if you're doing an album cover that one is eight inches one way and seven inches the other way make sure you've got it the right way around I don't know that late that late in Harrogate <laughs> <laughs> I was showing you how to do it and we, 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 and we both realised at the same time I've got the spine the one way around. but it's it's so easy to do isn't it especially if you're we well, all sounded quite professional up to that point. You were very professional. Hey ho. <laughs> so, right, okay, so we'll repeat the process. We'll stick this one on here, about a third of the way in. And let's try it this way. Let's put a bit down there. I, I, don't, I tend to find that doesn't help, actually. Oh. <clears throat> I, I tend to find it because it catches un underneath and, it, and yeah. it sometimes tears when you're trying to get it out. <coughs> and persevere and see how I get on. Okay. So I just try and I lock it in, but I try not to put any pressure on the yeah the, on the actual the, tape. Yeah, on the or on the um piece that goes in towards the spine. Ah, you mean the hinge space? Yeah, the hinge space right. Okay, itself. so front cover, centre spine. Now I need my back cover. Actually, you know what? They actually fit better without that in there, don't they? I did mention it in passing. It's all right. We have to try no, these no, no, things. No, 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 no. You don't know until you try. Well, I have done it like this at home, and it's fine. But I think um, it's just been awkward today. No, I'm just being awkward saying, "Hey, I'll have a go at this, <laughs> this way." <laughs> Should have done what my friend said in the first place. Right? Okay. So. I tell her all the time, but she never listens. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're so horrible. <laughs> See what I have to put up? She's so bossy. Right, okay, so <laughs> case just collapsed on the floor in apoplexy. I'm not bossy, I'm assertive. <laughs> so, okay, so we're going to repeat the process. Well, I've obviously cut this one a bit longer, so I'm going to go up there. Right, this piece of architect here, hang on to it, put your pa backing paper on, because you can use that for a mag pop or two or two even and we're pleased to say that hopefully we've got the mag pops back in stock <laughs> hurrah okay so again same thing same thing like that and like that just give it a little flick over sorry am i wobbling the camera again no because I've, I've, i think i've put it off the table so it's not touching the table okay so now we've got the next one to do which is our um, <clears throat> what do you call it? Yeah, can you just the final me? spine. If That's I bring it, it over that perfect. way, how's that? Perfect. Okay, so make sure I've got the right one you, again. Maybe. Ah, perfect. Okay, let me do this 
again. I think I've cut this one too long as well. So I could do the professional just moving it with my arms, but it's quite practical, it's just easier to tell you. <laughs> I know you take notice, I don't. But. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know you don't. <laughs> It's alright, we're just laughing about directions <coughs> when we're videoing. So, I pay attention when I'm demonstrating and if Kay gives me a hand signal, a polite one, I obey, <laughs> I obey what she says, which she completely ignores mine. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I interrupt her. <laughs> I've got that straight. Yeah. You can see on here I've written magnets. That's to remind me that I need to stick the magnets on there. Okay? Okay. So. Move those. No, it's not right. I could see that, it wasn't locked in. That's why I love these hinge spaces. You see, that's right, you've got a bit that base piece there at the bottom at the top. What, sticking on there? Yeah, there you've got a little bit of liner left in there. Yeah. Okay, I'll peel it off afterwards. That's why we did the thing. Yeah, I took the liner off, didn't I? That's okay, I've got it. It's just being careful and just mm. just one step at a time. Yeah, just take your time with it. Okay, right, so that's there. It's there like that. So give that another little burnishing on the back. Okay, and then you can just go down there, down there, down there. So theoretically, that's the start of your book like that. Okay, and just ignore that one that's got the arrow going up that way and just take that off. Okay, so now you need to stick in, that's your cover made so far, so the next thing you need to stick in is your spine. Now if you've just bought the cover set kit you won't have any black, any card in there to make your spine, but the spine measurements for three eighths of an inch for six pages are in the PDF, but it's really um, it was just to provide you with the grey board for the cover set and the magnets and then you can depend on which card you were using to do it. So here's my spine. We've got instructions lurking around somewhere we'll note them. We have, they'll be in the PDF anyway. Okay, and we've got a video. We? And we have a video of how to construct the spine as well. Okay. Yeah, okay, so that's that there. Now normally, when you stick your spine, you centralise it, okay? But you are going to have your frame here okay so you need to make sure when your frame is here if you have your first page right up there it's going to crash with your frame can you see that I know it's a bit yeah. difficult with black okay yeah just yeah so what you need to do is move your spine probably and don't forget you've got a pocket the other side but what I'd probably do is put it to about there and I think you'll see that's about <coughs> That's half an inch. It's about three quarters of an inch. No, half. what's half an inch plus three eighths? Uh, seven eighths. Seven eighths. <laughs> it's about seven eighths of an inch in anyway. So that's that's where you want your spine to be, like that, okay? From, from that, from the front from, cover? From this, that, that's like from that. this okay. line just, here. Just to, just from that line yeah. there, so from there, you probably want your first page cover it is yeah it is about seven eighths of an inch about seven eighths of an inch there okay right it's now it is now recording okay. so if you do want to talk through what you did right so have we not got the spine stuck on it at all no right okay no so so this, this okay is, right but we can okay. only apologize for the camera operator <laughs> right okay so now you'll notice there's a step that's been missed here <laughs> because we've already actually put our spine in place because due to our tech technology experience and know-how we forgot to switch record on 
right, but yes. you can see how to fit, fit a spine in on our other assembly videos. But the most important thing with sticking the spine into this one is that you leave enough space between the hinge of the cover and the first spine hinge. Normally we say put your spine centrally and you can see here if you look at the gap it's not central. Hold on, I'm just going to zoom in. How's that? Uh, yeah, could you just move down, down towards me a bit, towards me? That's it, yeah, perfect. Okay, you can see, you there's, can see there. a, there's a narrower gap there and there's a larger one there. And the reason we've done that is because when your frame is in place, if you had your first hinge space too near, your first spine hinge, it's going to crash with that and it's not going to shut properly. Okay? So that's why if you look, if you now look in the centre of the spine, you can see you've got plenty of space. Yeah, that's cool. Just move it just to, that's perfect, perfect. Yeah, yep. that's, yeah. Okay, that's right. It. Okay. Okay. Oops, sorry about that. Are we still on? We're still on, yeah, we're still on, yeah, we're still on record. <laughs> <laughs> it's my fault, it's because I send Kate to sleep when she's watching me. So. Yeah. Right, okay, so now you're going to stick your, sp stick your frame in. And the most important thing is find your magnet edge here. And that needs to be on the outside edge of your cover so that it sticks like that. And when the book folds up, the magnets are going to clip on there and it will shut. Okay, I haven't put my magnets on here yet, we're going to do that once this is stuck. So when you're sticking this, I would recommend... Um, zoom back out again, okay. that's it, it's something When good. you're sticking this, I'd recommend using a good, strong PVA glue. Book binding glue's fine, or you can use your Aileen's Tacky Glue, something like that, but you need to stick it firmly and then you need to leave it. Okay, so we'll use our book binding glue. You can use double-sided tape as well if you want to, to adhere, um, you know, just to hold it down while it's drying. Actually, I'm gonna get one that comes out a bit quicker for this. And remember, again, if you find a little bit lifting, you can always go back in with a piece of card, a little bit of tape, glue on it, and then just slide it under. So, magnet side is here. So that's my magnet side. I'm going to stand up to do this. And I'm doing this by eye, but just go in. And you need to make sure that you have, in fact, if you take your hinge spacer, you want a hinge spacer's width of where that frame needs to be from the edge. Okay? So the actual width of that piece there approximately all right because that's the width of your so the flat of thing. your gray board yeah okay so just fix that and give that time to dry would you weight it down you could yes you could weight it down yeah probably yeah. in fact put what you could do is yeah it. put tin of beans on it just something like that so we need to leave that for a bit so we've allowed that time to stick and you'll see that when that folds that fits really nicely there okay yep. so now we need to fit the magnets onto here you may find it easier to um, put a little some people put a little mark on but I don't want to mark my architape so I'm just going to take my double-sided tape and I might need my glamorous assistant here. Don't want to move that forward so we can see what yeah doing. okay, okay if I hold that there so just to prove that I'm not completely useless <laughs> And I'm, say, I'm saying nothing. And, and the cord is on. <laughs> it's normally me that does that. <laughs> Our very first um, thing we did, I, I recorded it all, didn't I? And it, I'd forgotten to press record. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so double sided tape. Okay, with the stick side Do facing hold up. Yeah, just stick it. Right, okay, and I'm going to take my first magnet. I'm going to let it just drop on there naturally. Okay, so you know the polarity is going to be correct. Same again, same again, same again. You don't need any more, do you? No, I don't. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Right, okay. okay, I'm just wiggling that so it's a bit more central. Okay, so I'll pop that in there. Just give that a snip. 
little pepper thing there. Yeah. Make sure it's nice and taut the tape. Okay, so then, oh, it's still doing it. That's it. Okay, now this is a tricky bit. Okay, so you want that transferred onto there like that. So you're really going to have to find the way that works best for you. I find if you put that flat like that, pull that one down starts to come down but it's really finding whatever's easiest yeah, you for like, you. Yeah, it's, it, it's very difficult for you to show us with that. Okay, so once you start lining it up, slide that down. And that's come, right, okay, that one's come off but because you know they're almost in the right place now, now you want to hoik your tape, and just straighten it along the edge like that. Okay? So you can... So let's see this works. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So once you've got the, as long as you've got these lined up straight, once you've got the first one down, keep all of these straight, yeah, and then you know it's correct. Okay. So what you want to do now is then you want to cover that end. So. Okay, probably about right, okay. So there's my knife. Actually I'm not gonna cut anything at the moment, just run that along there, along the edge. because you've already got those covers, corners covered by the other piece of tape. Take the stick off. Okay, pop that down, just quite lightly to start with. And you're going to do exactly the same that you did on the um, frame. So just going to corners. Mite the corners a little bit, but don't, <coughs> you don't want any magnets showing, so just keep that flush. one and always turn your work around so it's easy to manage as well so right that's going to be harder because we've got a bit of overlap there so we'll just trim that a little bit trim that one okay. don't burnish it yet we'll turn it over do exactly the same thing and you'll see I've got a little overlap there because I had the overlap left beforehand. Hold on. <coughs> you need to be about about, about that, yeah. I'll go and okay. zoom in a tad on this. Right, I've got a little overlap there because of when I had overlap, so probably trim that off beforehand. Right. Okay, so then you're going to bend that back, same as you did for your frame. Keep your scissors flat. I'm trying to do it so you can see. Okay, that's so that's, that's, that's mitered there. I'll trim that bit in a minute. The same here. Uh, can you move it towards... No, the other way. That's it. That way? Yeah, because I've zoomed in, so it's... Yeah. Okay, so we'll trim there. It just helps to give a nice finish. Right, and you can see your corners need trimming there. That's because... Do you remember when I had the overlap? Yeah. You need you really should trim that before you start doing this, but I was worried in case I didn't have enough cover. But I did. Just trim that. Right, wobbly table now. Burnish well. And on this side. Look at that, it's a really nice, neat finish for your front. Side, yeah. Okay, and then that is your monster book finished and constructed, ready to put your pages okay, in. You've got your inside cover. Okay. Yeah, well reminded, okay. Oh, so you've got your inside cover that goes in <coughs> here. So the first thing you need to do, once you've got this in, you need to be able to lift it out. So take a piece of card and just, that's my hinge side. So just this side, we're just going to stick 
with a piece of um, it can be any scrap piece it's fine it's just really to so that when it's there you've got something to pull it out with okay so take your architape again and this time we're going to try and cut almost exactly complete length probably allow a smidge over move that out of the way for a minute okay so we're going to stick the front hinge on first halfway on you see this okay yeah, yeah. okay so <clears throat> like that Bring this in here now you want to make that's going to stick on there and you're going to look at it and think well oh, it's going to look a bit of a mess well it's not because it's going to be covered with paper but can you see that that overlap is going to go over there so you don't want as much of that there so what you can do, you need to make sure that when you stick the architect, it only goes to about there. Does that make sense? <coughs> so what, about a quarter of an inch? Yeah. yeah. You <coughs> don't want it overlapping, you don't want it over the side there. So you want it in about a quarter yeah, of an inch? Yeah, in about a quarter of an inch, okay. okay. So probably what I should have said is mark beforehand, so your architect needs to be... Let's move that off. So your architect, there's your, there's your thing there. So if your tape's going to be there, then your architect needs to be quite far on on your, that's better. So it's more like um, two thirds really, not two thirds, uh, three fifths, something like that. Okay. Actually, should we measure it? So that is, oh, it's three, three millimeters. Three millimeters okay. in the end. Okay. Right, so... What's three millimetres? Three centimetres. Thirty <laughs> millimetres. I'm going to say three millimetres. <laughs> Is it thirty? Yes. Uh, we're, back, we're back on um, metric now, are we? Well, no, I had to... Because this is fifty millimetre tape, isn't oh, right, it? Okay. So what's that in inches there? Right, yeah. it's, it's, it's about an inch. No, it's about an, a one and one eighth of an inch. If we say three millimetres, that's easier. 30 millimetres. 30 millimetres, yeah. Okay. Right. Okay, so you're going to stick your architect onto your inside cover lid. You need to make sure that this amount of tape is 30 millimetres. It's about an, one and an eighth of an inch, okay? Because when you stick this onto here, what you do, you need to make sure that this piece of architect when it sticks on sticks about a um, quarter of an inch from the edge it doesn't overlap at all because this is going to be covered by decorative paper so it won't um won't show and won't make a mess is that in the screen okay oh sorry <laughs> I, was, I was looking at the, I was looking at the screen at all <laughs> It is now. <laughs> okay, right, okay, so the, the reason you need to, to make sure that this is okay is, <laughs> is, um, is because when that's on there, you want about a quarter of an inch gap there. So when that's stuck, that looks a bit messy at the moment, but that will be covered with decorative paper. You don't want any overlap, you don't want anything interfering with the magnets at all. Okay, so I've stuck my architect on. I've put my little lift up piece of paper and I'm just going to line it up and stick it on there like that, okay? And again, if you want to, you can burnish the corners, but I don't tend to bother because I'm going to have decorative paper over the top there, all right? So that's there like that. So we'll just burnish that there. And this will be covered by decorative paper. And this is the reason why you've got that. That lifts up there. Okay, and then you've got another hinge here. So take another piece of architect. It's over there. Just line it up. And this time you may find that you might need to do a little cheat because you might have a little bit of um, grey board showing. It really depends how much you've covered it. So pop this on here. Okay, and then you're going 
to line this up, start it on one end. button I'm, I'm just bending it back to trim it because obviously it needs to be use your fingers You have a little bit of grey board showing at all which you may have but I couldn't work do it any so it didn't get any bulkier just pop a black mark the pen there and with your um, inside bit here I always put a piece of black card in there as a base but what you can also do is just go in with a black marker and just go in all the way round just to really seal, it's up to you. I can't see that, but because if you do the other, if you do that side, I do this we, side. yeah, we can see it's that. It's just to really seal, to make sure you've got a nice, good seal all the way around. You're sort of trying to get underneath the tape a little bit. Okay, so that's there like that. I can see that still needs, that's a bit tight. I've got a bit of um, tape overlapping here, so I'm just going to trim that. That's burnished, that's burnished, and then we're going to put this back again. And this is when you just burnish it again, very gently burnishing the hinge. And that will push down, it will pull up, and you've got a really nice, once it starts working, it will stop squawking. Okay, and that's it. And then again, you can see you've got a little bit of glue there. Just take your rubber. Just, it won't rub it, so you just have to be patient, just let it warm up. And then, as the glue warms up, the rubber will take it away. Keep going, keep going, keep going. A bit more pressure. And that's it. Okay, and that's it. So you're ready to go now. that's like that and then we've got the decorating day by day tutorials for you to come up as well.